add her to your idea of what Iran looks like. They, in fact, are in the majority. And when it comes to having a say in this country, they're just warming up. This is no passing fad. Parkour, the physical art of finding a way through, is a fixation here that, strictly speaking, they're not supposed to practice in public and not in mixed groups, but they do. <laughs> because we adore this sport, says 25-year-old Nilofar Mukata. The passion I have for this sport makes me fight for it, she says. They are propelled by ambition. All but the 15-year-old are university students, one just back from military service. Most are tired of the old politics and old politicians and their death to America chants. Though he says it was U.S. behavior that sparked such chants during the Islamic Revolution, Hamid Afrasabi says they are totally wrong now. I don't like it, he says. Iranians are very peaceful people. They didn't witness the 1979 revolution, but life revolves around the recent sanctions, around double-digit unemployment, even for the educated. In the talks with the West, they can see both the possible stumbles and the opportunities. This is important for Iran and for Iranians, she says, because the sanctions will be lifted and the relationship will be normalized. That isn't youthful optimism, it's what the majority wants. They know their country, like their sport, has an image problem. They live the consequences. The foreigners who come here at the beginning, they have a very negative and gloomy image of our country, he says. But when they come and see how we live, their idea of Iran changes. So in their world, the divide may be tricky to navigate, but it is no doubt surmountable. This is Iran too. And like the local park, they want to own it. Nalayed, CBC News, Tehran.